Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. If you have recently reset your iPhone or iPad and are struggling to install eSign or IPA files without jailbreak or a PC, don't worry. Before we start, let me quickly explain what eSign is. eSign is a popular tool that lets you sideload IPA files on your iPhone or iPad without needing a jailbreak or a PC. But if you tried Scarlet and other signer before and you have got blacklisted and now you have recently reset your device, you might still face issues installing eSign again. Today, I'll show you the solution. Simply open this website on Safari, and then scroll down, and then hit on Install DNS Profile, then hit Allow to download the DNS Profile. Now open Settings, and then hit on the Downloaded Profile, and then hit Install, and Install again to install the DNS Profile in your iOS device. Now you will see a new app on your home screen. Simply open it and then scroll down and hit on the one of the eSign link and then hit install to install eSign in your iOS device. If one link don't work you can use other links to install the eSign app in your iOS device. In my case I just hit the first link, the Vietnam Post, and it installed the eSign in my iPhone without any problem. Once the eSign app is installed, now first of all make sure to turn on airplane mode. Then open settings, and then open general, and then open VPN and device management. Then open the enterprise app, and then hit trust, and then hit allow, and restart to let the eSign app work in your iOS device. Make sure the airplane mode is on before restarting the device. After restart, you will see that the eSign app will open and start working without any problem. Now open the same app again, and then hit on the download eSign certificate. Now save the eSign certificate zip file in your iOS device. Now open the eSign app, and then hit on three dots on top, and then hit on import, and then select the eSign certificate zip file we have downloaded. Once the eSign certificate zip file is imported, now simply hit on the eSign certificate zip file, and then select unzip. Now open the eSign certificate new folder, and then select the name you have downloaded the eSign app. In my case, it was Vietnam Post. Simply hit on the same name, and then hit import certificate management. Now we are good to install IPA file in our iOS device with eSign. Simply download the IPA file you want to install in your iPhone or iPad, then open the eSign app, then hit on three dots on top, then hit import, and then select your IPA file. Once your IPA file is imported, now simply hit on apps at bottom, then hit on your imported IPA and then first hit Signature, and then hit Signature again. Now simply hit Install, and then hit Install again to install your IPA file in your iOS device. And this time you will see that the IPA file will install and will work properly without crashing and without any problems. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Skibbity Tech for more amazing iOS tips and tricks. Share this video with your friends who might need this solution, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy sideloading.